Good afternoon everyone, this is Vince Cavallaro here for another Flash tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a bouncing ball using Adobe Flash CS4. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your Flash program. Click on All Programs and the Adobe Master Collection followed by Adobe Flash CS4. Um, and once Flash opens up, you're going to go ahead and um, create a new Flash file. So you're going to go ahead and hit New, File New, and the first one. Now we have our um, our scene one. This is our stage where we create all of our creative goodness. Um, so the first thing you want to do is is actually make the ball, right? So we're going to go to insert new symbol, and we're going to name it ball. We're going to keep it as a movie clip type because a movie clip can be both a button or a graphic. Um, so you're going to go ahead and select OK, and you're over here. This is where you're going to draw the ball. Um, so, to draw the ball, you have to hold down on this rectangle tool and select Oval Primitive Tool. The reason we're going to use the Primitive Tool and not the um, Oval Tool is because the Oval Tool gives you some kind of crazy outline when you draw it, and it tends to interfere with things. The Primitive Tool, on the other hand, doesn't do that, which is why I like to use it. You can also go ahead and change the color if you wish. I'm going to keep it as green. I like green. But you can select whatever color you wish. So you come over to here and you draw your ball. It doesn't it doesn't matter how big it is. It's, it's completely up to you. Um, the next thing you want to do is um, is you're going to go to the properties tab, and you're going to make sure that it's centered at um, zero zero. So you're going to change x to zero, and you're going to change y to zero. Now I'm not sure if you noticed, but the ball did move, and now it's in the center of the screen. The reason you want it in the center is because um, when you're coding something in Flash and you move something, you move it based on uh, pixels and you need to know where your ball is if you're going to move it like that. So once you do that, you're going to come over here to back to the scene and um, you're going to go ahead and create a keyframe. I'm going to create it around 50. We're going to say right click here and insert blank keyframe. We're going to come back over to frame 1, and we're going to click on our library, and we're going to drag the ball into our little stage. Um, you're going to go ahead and click on your selection tool as well. And we're going to right click on the ball here, and we're going to say create motion tween. Motion tween basically says that in between here and here, the ball can move. So I'm going to go ahead and start on frame 10, and I'm going to say that the ball is going to be here when it gets to frame 10. You can uh, pick whatever frame you want, um, but I like to do it around there. So I'm going to say the ball is going to bounce up around here, and then he's going to bounce back down here, and um, bounce back up here. And then it'll hit the wall, right? He'll come back down to here, and then he's going to roll. Now, um, you might notice that the, a ball typically doesn't bounce straight in straight lines. So what I like to do is change the trajectory of the the path of the ball. So you click on the line and curve it a little bit. This is all optional, you know, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it because it makes it look nicer. And um now you're going to um hit the control hit the hold the control key and push enter. And this opens up a little view that shows um what th what this thing would look like if it were if it were to be online or if somebody were to download your Flash application. As you can see, it just keeps on going and going and going, and it's never going to stop. And if you're in the real world, this is probably not what you want, because you eventually want this thing to stop. So we're going to um, close out of that, and we're going to make it stop. The way we're going to do that is to use um, some action script. And action script needs to be run on its own layer. So we need to create a new layer. So we're going to click on this button right here. And um, we're going to create a keyframe here at frame 50. We're going to right click there and insert blank keyframe. We're also going to click here 
um, on the last frame, frame 49, we're going to right click there and insert another blank keyframe. Um, now, with the marker still in frame 49, um, we're going to select Window and Actions. And in here, we're going to type in Stop with an open parenthesis and a closed parenthesis followed by a semicolon. Now, that's the this is um, what they call Action Script. And Action Script is the language that you use if you're going to be coding in Flash. Um, so we're going to close that window. And we're going to come back here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hold Control and push Enter. It's going to bring up this window. And then you're going to see that it's going to stop right there. Now, that's great. And if you want to restart it, you just push the Enter key. And then it restarts. So um, that being said, uh, that is the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I look forward to giving you more tutorials in the future. Thank you. Uh, bye.